Hi everybody, I'm Dr. John Diard, and welcome to Lifespa.com. And today I want to talk about the power of oranges, particularly the white pith of oranges. You know, when I was uh, training in India, I worked with a, a doctor named Dr. Hari Narayana Singh in, in, uh, in um, uh, Varanasi. And uh, dear, dear old Ayurvedic doctor, uh, he was 90 something years old when I was working with him, incredibly healthy. And uh, we used to take uh, the orange pith and, and dry the oranges and the pomegranates and the pith and, and grind them up and um, make powder that we use for heart disease. Well, that same powder today is called diosmin and hesperidin, two white extracts that come out of uh, the white pith of oranges. And they actually do something, they, they micronize them, they grind them into very, very small particles called micronized purified flavonoid fractions. And it's a whole thing and the studies on it are quite amazing and off the charts. So when I was talking to my teacher, Hari, Dr. Singh, um, and he was old and he was grinding these herbs, these, these piss and and, and I said, golly, you're so old, why can I help you do that? Or can, I, can you get somebody to do that for you? And he said, no, I have to do it myself. And I said, why? He goes, I have to grind it 1,008 times. And I was like, and I said, wow. And he goes, well, and he goes, and if I have somebody else do it, how do I know it was ground 1,008 times? And I was like, yeah, you're right. You better keep grinding, you know, because it was because it was so precise. So that extra grinding of these herbs created what's called micronization. It's a big part of Ayurveda is to create these things small. We're not nano sizing anything. That's way, way smaller. Uh, but this is grinding these herbs down to a very, very fine powder. And that was used in, Ayur in Ayurveda for heart disease and lymphatic concerns. Well, now we have this stuff called hesperidin and diosmin which has been studied and studied and studied for microcirculation and lymphatic drainage issues. So you gotta ask yourself, how do I know I have a lymphatic condition? Well, the lymphatic system in Ayurveda is called rasa. Rasa, the study of rasa is called rasayana, and the study of rasayana is the study of longevity. So the idea in Ayurveda was a study of lymph was a study of longevity. So importantly, having understanding how we can support healthy lymphatic flow is critically important. You should know that the lymph system is trying to do three basic things. One, detoxify you, it's the garbage can. Number two, to carry your immune system, it's the carry of your immune system. And it's also trying to deliver broken down, properly broken down fats into every cell of your body for baseline energy. So if you're tired, chronic fatigue, all that, good chance you're not delivering the fats as part of your baseline energy supply. And when that gets congested, you can have, like I said, compromised immunity, tiredness, lethargy. You can also have, you know, drainage related issues, swelling, rings getting tight in your fingers, ankle swelling, you know, issues with your hands and your feet, uh, aches and pains in your hands and your feet, rashes on your hands and your feet, rashes all over your body, acne, tiredness, lethargy, uh, hypersensitivity reactions to your food because those undigested proteins and fats that aren't broken down properly end up getting being too big to get into your blood according to the science and they end up getting into your lymphatic channels around your belly they bloat you they create uh, uh, extra weight and they congest your lymph so you can't deliver that as energy you get tired the brain fog the uh, the uh, lack of mental clarity people get when they eat wheat, for example, is caused not by the wheat, but by the lymphatic congestion caused by poor digestion. It didn't break down the hard to digest proteins the way they were the way we should. And that is what causes the digestive, the, the, the symptoms that we link to wheat and dairy and nuts and seeds, legumes, brains, nightshades, lectins, all that stuff comes from poor digestion. And we should, in season, when they're available, be able to break these things down in a healthy way. In fact, if you don't break them down, don't just stop eating them. For sure, stop eating them if you feel bad eating them. But then go back and fix the problem. And you can do that and troubleshoot your digestive system with my free ebook called The Digestive Troubleshooting Guide. You can also read my, my book called Eat Wheat, which is all about exactly that, how to fix the real problem. So we end up kicking the can down the road, which is, which ultimately will affect your lymphatic health, which will affect your immunity, which can make you more vulnerable to more aggressive related immune events, 
uh, reactions to immune events, you know, down the road, right? Which is not a really good idea. So anyway, back to the, the, the to the, um, the, this, we have a product called Lymphvein HP, which is basically the ground up micronized uh, orange, white of the, the pith of the orange, the white part of the orange. You can eat the white part of the orange also as well, but the studies are pretty phenomenal on things like hemorrhoids. They found that when people uh, were taking just one capsule, 500 milligram capsule twice a day of, the, 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 of, a, of a formula of diosmin, 90% uh, to the hesperidin, 10% both pith from the orange pith, uh, it actually reduced the, the pain after just one week and the bleeding of 79% reduction in pain and 67% reduction in bleeding. After two weeks, it was a 98% reduction in pain and an 86% reduction in bleeding. The research on hemorrhoids, which are micro, micro circulation related inflammation issues, uh, were quite powerful, quite amazing. Studies show on swelling and lymphatic congestion on vascularities. Uh, also, cellulite is also a lymphatic congestive concern. If you're not digesting the foods properly, the undigested proteins and fats will go into your, not your blood and feed you, but they're too big to do that, so they go into your lymph, which is the garbage can, and they congest the lymphatic flow. That lymphatic flow draining from your legs has to move through the abdominal lymph vessels, which is the lion's share of lymph in your body. If that backs up, your belly will swell, your hips will swell, and your, the, 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 the fats will get pushed into the tissues, creating cellulite. And a host of other circulatory congestive concerns, like I mentioned. I've written a whole ebook called The Miracle of Lymph, which has over 100 scientific references if you want to dig into that. Also, just go to lifespot.com and type in lymph and you'll read all my articles on the lymphatic system. There are just so many of them, in particular the lymph in the brain. Newly discovered lymphatics in the brain dump three pounds of plaque out of your head every year while you sleep. But if you don't have good lymphatic drainage, then that plaque actually uh, can build up and has been linked now, according to the studies, to anxiety, depression, so your mood, uh, cognitive decline, uh, inflammation, infection, and even autoimmune concerns, which means that the master computer is so congested, doesn't know how many fire trucks to send to the fire on Main Street during an immune event, so it sends one or a hundred fire trucks, an underzealous or overzealous immune reaction, and that can cause real problems when you're trying to, you know, to balance, you know, an immune response. Um, okay, so there you have it. You know, I've written an article about this at lifespot.com, all about uh, the white pith of oranges, the magic of citrus for helping support microcirculation and your lymphatic system. Check out that at our website on our store. Uh, the product is called Lymphvein HP. Check it out. I'm Dr. John Duyard. I'll see you all next week.